Hello everyone, this is Ezra Marib. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today, uh, I'll show you how to work with the skin tone in a Photoshop. Actually, uh, I got uh, I downloaded some photos from the Bad Tracking Studio. Um, this this one uh, here is some amazing portrait, uh, but uh, I want to work with some portrait. Uh, so let's start the tutorial. Before the start tutorial, I want to say one thing. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new updates of the tutorial okay and i'm going to the file and open and today i downloaded some uh, photos from that site and here here is a photo like uh, this photo and this photo actually i want to show you like bigger this one and this one and this one and actually this one so already those are edited but uh, i want to show you one thing like uh, how to work with the skin tone actually which color um, for the skin tone and how to just adjust uh, fully balanced or you know, like pops up so uh, i'm directly going to the filter and camera filter before that just make a copy of this background layer by pressing ctrl j or you can drag it and drop in this layer new layer options and then then I will work this layer and go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter you have to know now which color is for the skin tone and which color is for the eyes and the other things in this HSL options that means the hue saturation and luminance here is uh, colors uh, red orange yellow green aqua blue purple magenta so uh, saturation that means how deep will be the color and luminance how light will be the color that means um, uh, how shiny will be the color and the hue the color pattern of the left or right side In the left side it will red and right side it will be just orange type okay pink and uh, red or orange okay uh, i'm making it zero actually now the skin tone depends on these two colors red and orange let's see if i desaturate this one the red one and the orange one uh, after just desaturate this one that means the saturation value is minus 100 it, it's look like the monochromic or the uh, black and white uh, if i just make it like that yeah the skin tone is going to orange color actually you are just increasing the orange um, saturation that means the skin tone actually depends on the red orange and yellow that means if you just uh, increase the yellow or uh, red red color now from the lips uh, if you increase this one the lips will be more just deep color and orange it will be more like uh, over saturated orange uh, Oh, some of my fans asked me how to increase the uh, color uh, in the just easiest way of a skin tone i'll suggest you to work with the luminance suppose i want to increase this face color so i will increase the luminance of orange a little bit and don't be make it burn like that and i'll just leave here that means it's enough um, uh, enough saturated actually luminance and lightening like that you are getting the this one is not uh, like uh, this one is lighter than this one actually and if i adjust the red color yes the luminance i i'm working with the luminance yeah in this one you are getting the changes okay and i'm zooming in and if i make more just like that if i increase the orange luminance more then it will be more um, uh, like a uh, lighter uh, that means the orange color is uh, making the shiny one okay the saturation the same one if i make it like uh, no don't do that okay adjust in a just a peak point which is uh, the prominent uh, just point on this one yeah it did your own way actually 
so it will make you more um, just uh, different between the other photographers and the uh, like uh, some of people will like your photo for your signature tone or signature angle or the signature uh, signature frame um, it's like the signature photo that means you have to make the um, own signature that means when you will publish your photo in your facebook or instagram or the youtube or now uh, whatever uh, wherever you can publish but uh, some people will see your photo and they can recognize automatically this one is uh, this photo her photo him photo like that so um, this one is a technique to make your uh, own way to edit but you have to know the process how to edit that and how to work with that color which is the uh, prominent uh, for the peoples that means which color are eye catchy or the um, like um, the, the basic colors and the basic things okay and uh, i'll increase now uh, like uh, I'll desaturate the orange a little bit it will make more uh, the white tone for that and then I'll increase the luminance of orange a little bit in the eyes in the, in the portrait photography the main thing is the eyes if you focus on the model's eyes then um, it could be automatically um, the eye catchy for the audience so this one is the rules and you can maintain this one and you can try this don't forget to give the output now what you have tried okay and in the basic options uh, if you want to uh, get this one uh, like uh, shadow and highlighted uh, things what you have to do the highlight don't highlight your model's face too much otherwise um, uh, it won't be like um, the easy things okay uh, de highlighting this one little bit and it will be more natural and add some shadow like that yeah and the white actually little bit yeah and the blacks little bit down yeah this one is more eye catchy than this one okay uh, i'm not comparing actually this one is a great photography but i'm just showing you the difference uh, like uh, that uh, what you are doing and what you will have to doing uh, that means uh, what are the main elements in the portrait photography and portrait photography editing actually okay uh, but uh, in this image you are getting some noise so how to remove that go to the sharpen or detail this tab and here is the amount of the sharpening i'll at first increase the sharpness but uh, it's just going to like a pixelite but for the neutral uh, for the neutralize this thing uh, we have the luminance one and i'll increase a little bit yeah now that's good you can soften this one you can just adjust this one so don't rub it too much so you can work with it and after that just i'll go to this yeah this portion actually you are getting this one okay and i will add some vignette um, now what is vignette vignette is that um, you want to focus your models and you can um, just uh, dark the whole side that means here is the effect option and here is the options the the post crop vintage okay then just i'm adding like that you if you add this one too much it will like darker and if you just decrease this one like that so i don't want to do that this one is uh, amateur behavior so i'll add a little bit uh, the blackish one like that yeah and after that the eyes and how to do that uh, here is the options like a uh, brush and just select this area actually and select this area press the shift button and select this area and increase this area yeah you will get and increase the just exposure contrast and if you want to make it like that you can make it like this okay i like that and highlight i'll increase the highlight of the eyes so press the alter button is just 
brush this area i don't want to just give the light in this area i want to give the uh, light in the pupils and uh, clear it a little bit up and let's see the before one and after one yeah the eyes that was like that and now like that after that just press the hand tool and hit the ok button before hit the ok button you can save this one and just uh, if settings you can save this one and save on your uh, own um, just uh, folder which uh, you can use in a future i'm giving today's date that means 24 a 9 and 18 and okay and hit the ok button so let's see the before one and after and after one you were getting the hues change yeah the hues change okay after that if you want to add more effect please go to the filter and nick collection you know from the nick collection color effects pro there are lots of um, effects and lots of methods you can apply you know, one of them uh, which one you like most so uh, and here is the option the cross balance or cross processing the favorite one is the my favorite one is cross processing and here is a lots of method and which one you like to add yeah a lots of things if you want to make you warmy use the b02 and if you want to like this one you can use the c04 and all the things i will add this one and here is the options the methods now you can just uh, control the strength don't make it too much i like um, use the 25 and 20 is more than enough i think and here are other panels the opacity that is 100 percent is okay but if you want you can just control this one the shadow i won't touch the shadow i won't touch the highlights if you want you can do that so and hit the ok button it will take some moment to load and save your image and give you the output so let's see the before one and after one so this one is the techniques to edit and work with the skin tone in a camera filter actually in a photoshop you can uh, apply this technique in your lightroom as well so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon until the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye